boy, it's been a year, right? A year of remote learning for so many students. Well, the San Diego Foundation now teaming up with San Diego Unified because they're going to create this summer enrichment program for students who want to get outside, learn some things, maybe, you know, get a little dirty in the garden. Uh, this morning, we're actually highlighting garden therapy. It's happening in Linda Vista at the Bayside Community Center. So we have a couple horticultural therapists with us, Amy Zink and Emily Lepard. And then we also have Pamela Gray Payton, Vice President of Impact and Partnerships with the San Diego Foundation. Good morning to all of you ladies. Good morning. Good morning. It's Good morning. great to have you on. Uh, as we know, so many families have struggled for that remote learning and kids really just looking forward to hopefully a summer where they can learn and have fun. Uh, so Amy, let's start with you. Can you tell us about the Garden Therapy Program? Yeah, um, thanks for having us today. Yeah, our garden therapy program is for students that are age 10 to 15, and we want them to come with us and experience the power of plants and get in back in touch with the natural world um, and just relax and have, have a good time. That's awesome. And you're in a garden right now. Uh, are you growing anything there <laughs> right behind you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are in we are in Montgomery Middle School garden oh. um, and Montgomery Middle School is a partner of Bayside Community Center. So we're partnering together. And um, to answer your question behind us is a beautiful peach tree that's almost ready, almost ready for um, peaches to be eaten by the students that will come to our program. So we're super excited about That's that. That's so great. I mean, for students to see where their food comes from, the whole process. Uh, Pamela, or, or excuse me, Evelyn, let's talk about that. Uh, what activities will kids be able to take part in uh, here this summer? Oh, the, the activities are meant to be getting, um, getting students really connected with the earth. And so one of the activities, this beautiful peach tree is ready to be harvested. But down at the bottom, because of the COVID lockdown, um, there's a lot of weeds growing uh. around here. So one of the activities, weeding is unpleasant. You know, nobody really <laughs> wants to work that hard at weeding. But if you use um, garden therapy and use weeding as a metaphor, you can not You can just kind of use a really purposeful, mindful activity and get kids sitting around here focusing on the space, really touching the soil, connecting with the earth, and thinking about pulling weeds as we're, we're ridding something out of our, mm -hmm. our foundation that we don't need there anymore. So then if there's a purpose for weeding, then weeding becomes a task that we can really get into as we're connecting with the earth and not just, you know, a, something boring or awful that we have to do. So... <laughs> Making gardening it. fun and making it purposeful. That's what garden therapy is all about. Uh, you just made me appreciate weeding in a whole new way. And it's going to look beautiful, right? Once they're done pulling all those weeds around that peach tree, and maybe they can enjoy a couple peaches here this summer as those grow. So that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So let's bring Pamela into the mix now. You've been waiting patiently. Let's talk about these programs and how parents can sign up. People who are watching right now, Pamela, what do they need to do? Hi, Netta. Thanks for uh, inviting us in this morning. And I'm a little jealous. I want to be out there with Em and Amy uh, gardening. So I'm I can write your speech a little later. Uh, the San Diego Foundation is really, really excited to partner with San Diego Unified this summer to bring the Summer of Learning and Joy program to uh, district students. We have created over 11,000 spaces. Uh, and my understanding is parents who were super excited about the opportunity have been voraciously registering their children for uh, the different programs that exist, including the Bayside Garden Therapy Program. Uh, it's a Level Up SD is the website that parents can go to to find uh, some of the openings that may exist. We're also reaching out to a few additional partners and even asking some who have joined us to increase capacity if possible. Uh, I think the, the, the common theme that I'm hearing right now is they're having challenges hiring the additional staff that are needed to, to staff up some of these programs. But we really believe in the concept and believe that many students are going to have an opportunity to do something extraordinary this summer uh, that never would have happened if not for the Level Up SD program. Yeah, Pamela, you guys are redefining summer school. I think for so many kids, they're like, no school in the summer, but this is totally unique. It's gonna be something different, right? 
It is. It's going to be a great opportunity for students to be engaged, you know, in, in activities that are really going to address their social and emotional well-being. Okay. Uh, as you said in your introduction, it's been a tough year for students. And so we know both academically, uh, many of them need additional support. But in addition to that, having the opportunity to participate in garden therapy and many of the other cool programs that are available to students this summer is really going to give them the opportunity to just be kids again and mm -hmm. to have fun and to learn and engage with the natural world to engage in stem related activities uh depending on what they're doing for some it may be you know having fun out on a on a field engaging in soccer camp and Pamela, we're almost out of time here but real quick is it only for san diego unified or can other students in other districts sign up for this so the San Diego Foundation is actually operating two programs. One is specifically for San Diego Unified students, and the other will be for students outside of the Unified School District. Uh, and that program hasn't yet opened for registration, but we're okay. working with nonprofits right now. Okay. Uh, the application for that closes today at noon. All right, good to know. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us this morning. SDFoundation.org for a full list of other programs. Great to see you all. Thank you very much. And that's going to do it for us for this segment.